Right. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a great praise, church. Come on, you can do better than that. Let's bless the Lord and all over the church. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I was glad when they said unto me, amen, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. Somebody lift your hands here, amen, and just begin to give God glory and praise, amen, for what he has already done, amen, in this place. Hallelujah. I can't hear you praise him. I hear a lot of people, amen, but I don't hear nobody praising God. Somebody give him glory, glory, glory. Come on, let's bless the Lord. Let's bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, oh. Yeah, Lord. You may have your seats in the presence of the Lord. Amen. We give honor to our Lord and Savior who is Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm not going to be before you long. Happy resurrection, amen, to all of our Christians in this church. It's our time, right? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Uh, Muhammad can't celebrate this day. Amen. All of the other gods, amen, could not get up. But when they went looking for my Jesus... The angel of the Lord was sitting upon a rock. He said, Jesus of Nazareth is not here. For he has risen. Just like he said. I wish I had 10 people say he'll do what he's saying. Oh my God. I said he'll do. He'll do. He'll do. Amen. Just what he said. Amen. I'm going to go to John chapter number 13 again. We thank God for all of you, amen, that have come into the house of the Lord. I pray, amen, that Easter is not the only time that the church is packed. I'm going to throw that out there while I'm here. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. But, amen, as the parking lot is getting ready to get filled, I want to fill the parking lot. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, amen, let's continue to do, amen, the work of the Lord. I hope y'all can hear me all right today. Amen. I'm trying something new, so y'all help me. Amen. Pray, Lord. Amen. John chapter number 13. Amen. Minister Dean is going to help us on today. Amen. Um, well, let's go to verse number 16. Amen. And then we're going to, uh, we're going to skip Minister Dean. Amen. We're going to go to 16 through 18. Verse 22 and then go to 27. Verse number 18. Sorry, go ahead. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Yes. The servant is not greater than his Lord. Yes. Neither he that is sent greater than he that sent him. Yes. If you know these things, happy are ye if you do them. I speak not of you all. I know whom I have chosen. Somebody ought to say, I know who he chose. I know who he chose. Come on. Yes. But that the scripture may be fulfilled. Yes. He that eateth bread with me hath lift up his heel against me. My God. Then the disciples looked one to another, doubting of whom he spake. And after the sup, Satan entered unto him. Yes. Then said Jesus unto him, that thou doest. Whatever do, you're going to do. Do it quickly. Yes. Verse number 28. Now no man at the table knew for what intent he spake this unto him. First, uh, let's go to Psalms chapter, amen, number 23. And I just need verse number five. In thy truth and teach me. Psalms 23 and oh. 5. <laughs> Thou preparest a table before me. The Lord me. is preparing a table before you. In the presence of mine enemies. Yes. Thou anointest my head with oil. Yes. My cup runneth over. I want you to look at your neighbor real quick and tell him, neighbor, neighbor. if my table could talk. 
my, if my table <laughs> could talk. Um, Lord, I'm, I'm asking today that you will please help me preach. I don't have a handheld microphone. Lord, help me preach. <laughs> If my table could talk, it is a man, unfortunate, amen, that a lot of people that you connect to do not understand, amen, that it is imperative that you do not waste my time. If you want to upset me, amen, in my, in my older age now, I really don't like for people to waste my time. My time becomes valuable because I have more time, amen, uh, that I have lost than time that I want to lose. I don't want to lose time, amen, worried about things, amen, that are not, amen, conducive to my purpose or my destiny. But I have to get ev everything in that God told me to do and I have to do it in a manly, or excuse me, a manable time. God is not a man getting ready to give you things, a man that's going to waste your time. So do not be deceived by people, a man who do not respect you or respect the time that God has given you on this earth. You don't know when you're going to leave out of here. So don't sit around and wait, amen, for, amen, by the time I'm 35, I'll have the Holy Ghost. And the time I'm 40, I'll go ahead and give my life to Christ. And by the time I'm 50, I'll go ahead and be all right. And I'll be, I'll be good around about that time. That way I can look like a saint in the house of the Lord and all that. I'll be out and already party. Out of my, my good knees and already carded bead and already, amen, praise the Lord, amen. It has already done everything that it wants to do. Amen. And then by the time it's time for you to serve the Lord, amen, there is nothing that you want to give to God. It's amazing to me how, amen, we can come into church and we give God, amen, our bare minimum. But if, amen, I was at the club or if I was at the, at the house, amen, and I had drinks in my hand or if I had somebody doing something for me that was not good for my body, I would give it more time than I would give God. The time that we have, amen, with God is valuable. Do not waste your time on people that are draining your life. I wish I could help. I'm not going to be long, but I want to be strong. Do not, amen, give your time to people, amen, who are draining your pockets. The only time they like you, like you or love you is when you can give them something. Those people are leeches in your life and you have to be careful, amen, of people who are sucking the life out of you slowly and you are drained and don't even know you drain. I'm tired when I get up. I'm tired when I go home. I'm tired when I'm at work. I'm tired of my kids. I'm tired of David Daddies. I'm tired of work. I'm tired of, I'm tired of everything. And by the time God is ready to use me, I'm too tired to be used. God, amen, set me, amen, in a place where he said, I want you to minister on time. Jesus began to be on a time limit. And he had no time to play with the devil. Tell somebody, I don't have time to play with the devil. I don't have time to play with them right now. Amen. I've got something I've got to do. My family needs me. My God, my children need me. My mind needs to be together. I need to be well rested. I need to make sure my money together. I got things I want to do in the next two years and I don't have time to waste. I have time to waste. If I don't hoop today, is it all right? My table has to be, amen, something that you have to look at. And mama, sometimes the table is not always the most honorable thing. 
uh, the table, amen, is an elevated surface with support. Y'all missed it and y'all should have shouted. God is about to elevate where you are. And when he elevates you, he's not going to just keep you there, amen, but he's also going to give you support. I wish I, girl, I will come out of here. I said God is about to give you support in areas where you need to be elevated. God ain't going to just take you to the next level and there's no support. But he prepares a table before me in the presence of of my enemy. You know why your enemy is mad? It's because God's going to support you in this season. Yes, God. Girl, if this won't Easter, I'll be, girl, woo. I would preach this word. God is going to give you support in areas, amen, where you were, oh God, you were on the ground, but God is elevating you. You know you elevate it when you don't want to deal with the same junk that you dealt with last season. You know you, oh God, you know you elevated, amen, when you had decided, look, I ain't going out tonight. I'm all right. I'm good. I'm at the house. It's me and Netflix. We all right. I'm good. It's going to be me and Jesus. I'm all right. If you, if you don't, if I'm the only one that's got money, we ain't going out. <laughs> Lord, give me some people, amen, that's got more money than me. Oh, y'all ain't going to shout in here. I don't want to be the only one in the car, amen, and we, <laughs> and I got the most money all the time. He will elevate and support if my table could talk. I thought the Lord was going to give you a resurrection message, but he sent me back, amen, to the time Amen. Of where the disciples were sitting all around, and it was the Last Supper. I just want to tell you today, man, this is the last time that you're going to eat at this table. Oh, I wish I could help you in here. If this table could talk, it would tell you that it has been through hell and hot water. If my table could talk, it would tell you that I leaned on it because I cried. My table could talk. That it supported me to stand up when I was about to collapse. If my table could talk. And then he prepared a table before me and I thought my friends would be around it and my family would be around it. But he invited my enemies to my table the oil does not come when everybody like you the oil does not come my God when you have got everything together but he anoints my head with oil when all of my enemies are present it's not when everything is good man it's all the time it's sometimes when God has a man to get you in line up my God, with his will. And sometimes we, gotta, we just got to be all right with the will of God. It was, it was not my will. But thy will be done. It was Jesus, the same Jesus that said, he said, Lord, this cup, he anointed my head with oil and my cup runneth over. Y'all ain't like, Amen. And we think the cup, we start shouting because the cup runneth over. But what was in the cup? Because that same cup, he asked God, if he would remove this cup. But nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. And my table had to support a cup that I wanted God to move. Oh God, my table had to support, my God, it had to serve me things that I didn't want to be served. My God, hallelujah, and now we see here, and I'm almost done, that Judas 
is at the table. Elder Todd, I, the Lord showed me this and I almost lost it, man. Let me come against all of you that told, that the church told you. Oh, I'm getting ready. I ain't going to have no members after this. I come against all of you that says suicide could not be forgiven. No, 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 no. Show me in the Bible. Oh, it's a sin, but tell me where it can't be forgiven. He said the only unforgivable sin is the blasphemy. Oh, yes. We sit around and we judge people because we don't know what's in their cup. You have no idea what I'm dealing with, what's at my table right now, and I have things going on that is out of this world ridiculous. The only thing I want to do today is I wish I could minister to Judas. Oh, and it's because we gave Judas a bad name in church. And we don't know, amen, that Judas was a friend of God. Childhood friend. He was the only one out of the disciples, Sister Chanel, that came and said, Lord, can I follow you? He's the only one out of the disciples that asked, could he follow Christ? The only one. And God said, yes. You can follow me. Introduced him to everybody. My God. And he was the one entrusted, my God, with the ministry of money. God trusted him. God trusted him. Y'all don't like this. I said God trusted him. And he knew that Jesus trusted him. But the Bible says that one day they were all at this table. The table had Jesus sitting at head of the table. And while the rest of them were around the table, my God, everybody was around him and oh, oh Jesus and this that they're eating with him and all that. Jesus, the Bible said he reclined at the table uh, and he began to say, I'm troubled. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever had a table that troubled you? I got to get out of here. I'm a, amen. This might be too much. Amen. For Easter. Amen. But have you ever been in a place where you were seated and it troubled you? I know what the will of God was for my life, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't trouble me. There were some things that God, that oh God, ordered at my table and I am troubled. And sister, I want you to know that the Lord at the table reclined. Peter John looked at him and said, what's wrong? What's going on? He said, tonight, I'm going to be betrayed. Peter got a sword in his hand. Who is it, Lord? We're going to handle this right now. It's 12 of us now, but it could be 11 if you want. What's happening? What's going on? He didn't say nothing. He didn't say nothing yet. John laid his head on his chest. The one that he loved. Looked at him and said, God, Jesus, who is it? I know Peter's rambunctious, but, but if, you get, if you show him to me, then, you know, maybe we can love him out of doing something crazy. Jesus looked over there and said, he said, whoever I sought with, if the table could talk, the table could tell you by God that he got up from the reclining area. By God, and he went and he sucked in front of Judas. The Bible said it was then, it was then, it was then. Come here, Judas. Uh, it was then. The table. Glory to God. Come here, son. Come here. Uh, you, 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 I, I'll let you be Judas, okay? And he's going to be the devil. You, you sit and stand right there at the table. Somebody shout at the table. Amen. At the table, I'm here, amen, with people that love me, that are, that are ready to go with me, and that kind of stuff. And the devil, amen, was over there. He was at the table. Let me tell you something. You don't have, my God, a table until you got a devil. 
I'm going to go over here and preach. I say, you don't have a table until a devil is present. You don't know that you're really anointed until you got a devil there. The anointing doesn't need easy places. The anointing need rough places. Y'all ain't gonna try. If, I, if I didn't have to have the anointing, then anybody could do it. But because I need the anointing, he anointed my head with oil because everybody can't handle my table. I need you to find your neighbor and tell him, neighbor, it takes something to be me. Some people, some people want to be you, glory to God, and they don't know what it takes to get in. They don't even know what it takes to get up in the morning. Jesus says, Jesus says, whoever I sup with is the one. He took a little piece of bread, sopped it in some garlic butter. And, uh, and that's when, when he did that, he sopped with him. Take a piece of bread, right? Yeah. He said, yeah. He said, whoever that is, that's the one that's going to betray me. But Judas would have never thought it would have been him. Mama, God will put us in a place where we have to make tough decisions. So Judas was no longer Judas. You can go. Now, Judas is not there. The devil is there. And Jesus looks at the devil and says, whatever you're getting ready to do, do it quick. I need you to tell your neighbor, I'm not wasting no time. If I'm going to go through this, I'm going to go through it quick. I, I, I'm getting ready to get out of here. Glory to God. That's why, that's why when my table starts talking, my table starts telling me that he had courage. If you was to talk to my table, my table would be able to tell you there was victory at the table. Because he did not care who was at the table. He didn't talk to nobody else. He had to talk to his devil. Have you ever had to talk to your devil at the table? And tell your devil, whatever you get ready to do, do it quick. My God, I don't have time to waste with you. I don't have time to waste with depression. I don't have time to waste with old things. Old things are passed away. And behold, God said all things are brave. I need somebody to shout at the devil and say do it quick you better get it over with now you better get it over with now I got something to do you better get it over with now weeping may endure for a night you better do it now if you're going to do it do it I'm going to give you the next part of this and I've got to go I've ministered already Jesus says this. Y'all ready? Yeah. And I need you to tell your neighbor this and then we can get ready to go. I, I, I'll, I'll ride the train. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, yeah. it, is it is absolutely necessary. Yeah. I don't know why I'm going through it, but I'm telling you, it is, now, it is absolutely necessary. I don't know why God put this on my table, but it is absolutely necessary because he already said it. He said, I've got to fulfill every prophecy. And in order for me to do that, I've got to make some tough decisions. And he began to tell him, he said, whatever you're getting ready to do, do it quick. <laughs> because I don't have time to waste. <laughs> Jesus is troubled now. <laughs> because the one that he called his friend <laughs> looked at him and now he was all messed up. <laughs> but let me go to Resurrection Sunday. <laughs> he already had already betrayed him. <laughs> he looked over and he said, whoever I kiss, <laughs> that'll be the one that you take hold on and when Judas my God already had betrayed him he did not understand why he had to be the one to betray our God he didn't want to do it but the devil made me do it that's the only one that's got that testimony because he really didn't want to see God go like that but he had to be 
chosen at the table. If my table could talk, it would tell you God served me sickness and pain, but I did it well. Find your neighbor and tell them neighbor table is ready. Y'all ain't going to find somebody else. Y'all ain't got nobody. I said find somebody else and tell them your table is ready. He prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemy. If your enemy is present, your table is ready. And what's coming after the table? What's coming after your enemies? The oil of God. My God, the oil. He fills my cup and he lets it over Flow. I feel somebody in here is about to get an overflow. I'm tired of the devil trying to discourage me. I'm tired of the enemy thinking that it's going to be the last a long time. But the Bible said, I said the Bible said, I said the Bible said, I said the Bible said that after he did it, the Bible said, Jesus immediately. That's your last word. I want to find somebody and tell him immediately. God's about to do it quick. God's about to do a quick work. Immediately. He stepped out of there and it was nighttime. I wish somebody would give God glory for the night shift. I got a God that works the night shift. I got a God that works the night shift. Late in the midnight hour, when it looks like every devil in hell is trying to tear you up, God will bring in a night shift angel to cover you in the midnight hour. The night shift, he walked out immediately and said, whatever you're about to do, do it quick. Do it quickly because I don't have time. Now I'm going to go into the part of the sermon where now everybody gets bored. After all of that, Gethsemane, everything else. Jesus dies on the cross. Overseer, they see all of that, and Judas has hung himself. I, I struggle with this because I said, Lord, well, he committed suicide. He's going straight to hell. <laughs> well, well, I remember. That, that same Jesus went down the hill. Y'all don't like this. It's cool, I got you. He took the keys. Glory to God. And the souls that belong to him. See, see, Judas couldn't live with the disappointment. That was the problem. The problem was is that I disappointed God and myself. When I know better. But I didn't do better. So I've disappointed God and myself. And it was hard to live with that. So I want y'all to I want y'all to give grace to people. Give people some grace. If I don't preach nothing else, I want you to hear what I'm saying here. Give people an opportunity not to hang themselves. Because if they going to hell, then you going to hell too. Because you didn't even, you weren't able to help them. All this Holy Ghost in this church, and we don't want to help nobody. I got a problem with that. I don't want a church full of people, amen, that's stuck up in their own ways. That don't make you Christian, that make you religious. What use are you? So heavenly minded. No earthly good. That be the case, go on up there to see them then. 
What's your purpose here? If you're not going to help nobody. And I don't want to, I don't want to be so lost in my own disappointment that I'm hanging myself. God, I feel you in this place. Whew. That's what resurrection is about. If I could have only preached to Judas. I said, Judas, wait before you hang yourself. He gonna get up in three days. Y'all don't like this here. And if you're down, you can get up with him. That's the kind of God we serve. Oh God. Oh, I just want to thank you. Before all y'all, all y'all want to praise God for the blood. But I was the one that was about to hang himself. Y'all ain't gonna shout. But he came and he got me before I gave my own self my own demise before I turned myself into my own disappointment before I turned myself into my own destruction he came and he got me I wish I had somebody in here that shout he came and he got me I was a hot mess but he came and he got me my soul was hurting but he came and he got me I come against the spirit of forfeit I come against the spirit of giving up I come against the spirit of suicide. I come against the spirit of depression. I come against that spirit and I tell you to live. Live. You ain't the only one that's ever been disappointed. You're not the only one that's ever had heartache. You're not the only one. If God can bring them out, God can bring you out. Judas, get down from there. He going to get up. Don't lose hope, Judas. Judas, talk to your hope and tell your hope to live, man. I know what happened, but it was for his glory. Even in your betrayal, y'all don't like this. Even in your worst disappointment, your God can deliver you out of the worst areas in your life. That's me, pastor of the Ahart Worship Center. Lord have mercy. Pastor, you to tell me you had hangups? Yes. Yes. I could have turned myself into my own depression. But he came and got me. Before I could ever, he gave me another chance to say, I am sorry. He came and got not perfect at all. Who? Flesh? Yes. Your boy flesh go crazy sometimes. But he gives me a chance to say, I'm sorry. If I could have only just told Judas, destroy this temple. But in three days, he'll raise it up again. You don't believe me when he looked at Peter who denied him. And it was time for him to get up. When he got up, he said, go tell my disciples and Peter. Go get Peter too. He disappointed me, but go get him. God will come and get you. He will call you back. Even when you don't even hear him. He will call you back. He will call. He'll look at you and say, you too. I want you with me. Huh? No souls are going to be lost. God said, I have. God said, all souls are mine. I have the power to pull you out of this. That's that's my word today if my table could talk I don't know what your table would say but my table would say he 
call me back. I was messed up, but he called me. I was done for, but he called me. Today, I'm coming against this spirit that says I don't want to live no more. My disappointments have overtaken me. I can deal with disappointing some people, but pastor, I've disappointed myself. And my question is, is how do I forgive me? Oh, I've forgiven some people, but my question is how do I forgive me? Everyone's standing and we're going to move. Most of the time in church, we're always asking for the pastor to do a lot of stuff. But there's so many people in this church today. I don't want you to miss the moment. That somebody beside you is a survivor. Jesus, I love you today. Somebody beside you is the ministry. They never picked up a microphone, but they can minister. They don't have a license, but they can minister. Ministry means to serve. That's all. To serve. Not to preach. To serve. I told y'all last Sunday these titles are killing the church. Titles are killing the church. And my problem with titles is that Sister Hart, they get so they get caught up in their titles and they forget to respect people. Just because you're an apostle, you ain't God. Bishop who? I don't care. You talk to me like I'm a person. Not my condition. I wish I had. Okay, we good. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not my condition. I'm a person. Yes, right. Yes, right. For the next 15 seconds, and then we're gonna we're gonna move. I gotta go home. Amen. I'm done preaching and all that stuff. I don't, I don't know if I'm preaching next Sunday. I preach too much. But before I leave out of here today, I'm calling the spirit of resurrection and recovery. Yeah in this place if I don't lay hands on you today I need you to know that God is with you